this video, we're going to cover branching logic. Branching logic allows us to control where to the engine will branch after showing a question. The default branching logic for each question is to branch to the next question, but you can alter that and change the course of the survey based on some logic. Let's see a demo branching logic. For this video, I'm going to use the rules demo survey and the PC Breezy emulator. I'm going to start the emulator right on question 11. Question 11 asks me, you are now on queue 11. Where would you like to jump? I can either choose to continue to question 12, normal behavior, where I am on question 12, or go back and select to jump to question 13. I just skip 12 and jump directly to question 14, uh, 13. I can click on back and select to jump to question 14 instead. This branches me to question 14. If we answer any answer here, we will jump back to question 11 and not continue to question 15. If I click on question 15, we'll jump to question 15. And any answer here will bring me back to question 11. Finally, we can select to continue to the rest of the survey and get out of this loop. Branching can be done in three different ways. You can either branch based on logic, branch based on custom written functions, or use the general jump rule for much more complex routing algorithms. To control the branching for a question, you click on the rules tab and head over to the jump rules section. The engine will process each of these rules one by one, and if any rules matches, it will do the action that is specified for that rule. So rule number one asks, if answer of the current question equals two, we need to go to the index of question 13. If it equals three, we jump to question 14. If it equals four, we jump to question 15. And if it equals five, we go to the chapter called AND, which is this chapter. You can alter the expressions written here to any custom logic code that you wish. It just has to return either a true or a false in order for the engine to be able to evaluate this expression. You can find out all of our available functions by heading over to our support site at support.dblog.net and putting handbook in the search box. This will bring up the built-in functions handbook link and have a link to our full reference manual for all of the functions. But you can use this reference to find out how each of our internal functions should be called. For example, the answer function has only one parameter called inQuestID, which indicates the index of the questions we check. Add a new branching rule, just click on this add button right here. Put in the script logic code. Select an action, either cancel filter, go to the question, go to the next question, submit the interview, or go to a chapter. And then choose the relevant target from the available questions or chapters. To delete a rule, just select that rule and click on delete. You can also change the order in which these rules get processed using the up and down buttons. In addition to writing logic, you can also base your jump rules, branching rules, on custom written functions. To access the survey function library, just click the rules tab and the advanced script button. This pulls up the survey functions library. 
in this case, we have a mySum function that can be used in Carl Ferrari's survey. This mySum function adds the answer of the first question and the second question and returns the sum. We can base the jump rule on this function. We just call the function. said if it equals to 2, we'll branch. This is a wonderful way to extend your survey using the survey functions library. If you're not familiar with the equals operator stated here, the double equals, or any other logic operator, head over to our support and search for operators in the search box. This will bring up the how to use basic scripting operators quote, which contains all the information of that logic operator. Finally, for extreme cases where you have a very complex survey routing instruction that are very hard to achieve using individual jump rules, you can use the general jump rule to control the branching of the entire survey from a single custom written functions code lake. If you access the general jump rule function code library, you click on the survey, click on advanced, and the set general jump rule link. This will bring up the general jump rule script window. This script will be called upon each jump from one question to the other. So you can intervene and ask, for example, if the current question is question number 11 and the answer to the current question is 1, we will set the index to jump to the question 12 and the jumping action to jump to index. Before using the general jump rule scripts, please contact the Dubo support to get some recommendations and best practices. Again, this is only useful in extreme cases. In this demo, we covered jumping or branching.